Well, good morning there, YouTube. It is approximately 50 degrees, nice and sunny. And I was thinking, wow, it's going to be such a beautiful day. And it is. It's a beautiful day to get wet. So we're going to wash this coil here. This is the this is the unit that I did the no heat call on. Belt was real loose. Um, I got that supply temp to drop pretty good, but uh, it's still having some issues. So what I um, what I informed them was we're gonna have to wash that coil. I don't know if you can see on the inside, but it is it's pretty dirty on the in between the fins. I'm not sure this camera phone will get it too well, but we're gonna wash the coil and then not only are we gonna wash the coil, are we gonna wash that blower wheel? Look at that. So that's gonna be step one into getting this unit uh, heating properly. And then step two is gonna be this is this unit has two stage heat and what they're doing is they have a single stage heat thermostat so they're running full heat all the time 100 percent and we're going to install a uh, two stage uh, two stage thermostat for the heat so uh, maybe they'll be able to get better control over their temperature so anyways i already took this top panel off there it is. I took that side panel off from right here. So, probably end up doing is using that side panel right here to avoid any water going down into the ductwork. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to remove this motor from the blower wheel. Hopefully, we'll be able to remove the blower wheel, push it back, and pull it up and wash it on the outside. So, that's what I'm doing right now. I wasn't sure I was going to make a video out of this, but we'll see if it makes it on YouTube. We'll see. Anyways, taking that blower wheel out right now, and then we're going to have to get our water ready. Oh, all that good stuff. So, wish I had my 916th ratcheting wrench, which I lost on a different job. So, but anyways, I got the motor out, set it aside, and take these guys out. I would imagine. I'm not, I don't know, I've never, never done this before. We'll see. There we go. And this shit metal comes out. This lower wheel, but as you can see, somebody we might be able to move these lines out the way. We'll see. All right, gents, flip the phone charger for a minute. Got my hose, my hose ran up. Got my coil gun, some viper cleaner, my sweater. Um, so I was looking. Inside here, look inside the drain pan. Let's see if I can turn that light on. Look at all that shit. Hopefully, this drain pan will drain while I'm washing it. I really don't want any of that stuff to come inside the return. And the blower wheel will wash out here just so you can see what kind of crap we get out of it. Coil. <sighs> Got this cover here. Don't protect any water going into the ductwork. But let's see if this thing drains, man. That drain is. Good 
have loaded this. <laughs> Anyways, let's set up too. Still lots of nasty stuff in there. Grease that bearing up before we go. So. Enough for now. Here runs this side too. Bowman action here. See what kind of junk comes out. So now we're gonna let it soak for a few minutes and let that one soak, give it a rinse. And then we'll probably give it another shot and another shot and another shot because there's a production room at a bakery, so you could imagine there's a bunch of uh, I don't know, cinnamon, sugar, all that stuff inside the coil. So Trying to see what the end result is. I'm trying not to not to rinse that out. But it's probably be inevitable. So let's give this guy another another foaming action session and get back to it. Alright, let's see if I can get you some shots of this, but that coil is all that stuff coming out. We're gonna have to give this coil multiple passes, so look at all that. Would you like a maintenance agreement, sir? No, thank you. We don't need it. Sure you don't. All right, gents. I've already washed this coil about three times or so. As you can see, I'm still getting stuff coming out. So what I'm doing is I hit it from this side, push everything out that way, and then you'll notice all the all that black crud come out. I'll try to rinse it in a downward motion and then I'll hit it again 
So this is going to be about the, I don't know, third or fourth time. I'm going to add some coil cleaner to it. So this is going to wash this damn coil. I don't even know if it's ever been clean, and it's a pretty old unit. So I'm going to hit that up. And we'll hit it up from this side, too. Alright, so I'm gonna lift that soap. So, that's just what came out of the blower wheel. You tell me that wasn't dirty. Look at that. Anybody want a cake? So, we got the blower wheel back in, housing, got the motor in, got the belt tightened up, leveled out, and this baby is ready to start getting put back together. Now, this evaporator coil looks 10 times better than it did, however, I'm still concerned that it might still be dirty. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to see. Man, I had to wash this coil about, you know, spray it with foam about seven, eight times. Wash it, spray it with foam, wash it, spray it, wash it. Put the condenser as well, blower wheel. You all saw what nastiness that was on there. That's all that crap that came out of the blower wheel. This guy, this one, this shovel spin. Got stage two going now. At about 140, right next to the heat exchanger. Before we did the coil clean, um, we were at 170, 180. And here, I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes. I'm sure down in the kitchen they're hating me right now, but I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes. See what maximum temperature we get. So, I mean, hopefully I can see at least a 10, 15 degree drop. 
been running for a few minutes now, and we're averaging about 150, 154, 153, 152. So, about in the 150s, which is great. Like I said, before the coil clean, we were running 170, 180. Um, so, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go downstairs and change that thermostat to a two stage thermostat. And, um, we're just gonna make sure it's uh, operating properly and that'll be the end of the call so see you down there all right so we got the new thermostat put in nice little honeywell t6 t6 pro now we're just testing out the heat stage one all right so we got the second stage going all right so stage one before you guys murder me, I know this is not the best way to take temperature, but right now, I'm just looking to see what my temperature is right now. Uh, so we got about 102. And with single stage, we were about 91 or so. So let's drop it back down. To, let's just test stage one. Yeah, so single stage was about 91, 92 supply. And uh, second stage, about 103, 102, 101. So, tested out stage one, stage two on the heat side. And we tested out uh, air conditioning mode. I couldn't get too many, too much video here because of uh, personnel walking around. So, they want us to leave it at 72, automatic changeover. Fan is auto, so this is done that's it today was a was a pretty easy day let's just hope that they don't have any more troubles with their uh, heating side going off on high limit so we'll just have to maintain keep an eye on it monitor it and see what happens all right thanks for watching